All right, welcome to the reveal video from my previous video, the S52 versus the GH6 autofocus jam session. Now, if you have not watched that video, make sure you go watch that first so that you can go play the little game that we have going on about whether you can tell the difference between the S52 autofocus compared to the GH6 autofocus. And in that game, you can determine whether A cam is the GH6 or S52, same with the B cam for each different scene that is in that video. By now, you know that the S52 has the new hybrid system phase detect autofocus in it, and the GH6, much to our dismay, still has that contrast-based autofocus. And in that last video, I had the settings the exact same. So even though it's a different type of autofocus engine, I had it set to full area human detect, sensitivity at zero, speed at zero, the same ND filters, same ISO, and I mean, all the details are in that other video. And at any point during this video, if you want help mastering your Lumix camera, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, one thing before we get into these scenes and one thing that I noticed as I was editing that game video is that I was actually pretty shocked, pretty surprised at how well the autofocus performed on the GH6. I honestly thought it wasn't even gonna be close, but I was pleasantly surprised at the performance of the GH6. And in scene one, it actually took me a long time to pixelate that camera in the background. But A cam in this scene is the GH6, and the B cam is the S52. Then on scene two, I just wanted this whip up to kind of get that effect and see if it locks on pretty quick. Now between A cam and B cam, they both latched on pretty, pretty quick. And I think this kind of sets the stage for the rest of the video. One of the things that I noticed, even though they locked on, the G6 was just a little bit softer than I was hoping. The S52 is a much sharper lock on. And so in this one, scene two, A cam is the S52 and B cam is the GH6. All right, scene three is kind of more of like a little action sequence. And so my son here is skateboarding at the skate park. And so I'm trying to follow him as he kind of goes through this scene. And, you know, he goes off into the distance here a little bit and then, you know, spins around back into frame. And I like this because I'm walking with it, it's shaking all around, but still, even though I'm walking, shaking, honestly, it's locked on really well. And so in this one, scene three, A cam is the GH6 and B cam is the S52. Now in scene four, my wife is such a trooper. She's having so much fun on this slide, but this one, I kind of like walk around a little bit kind of get her on the slide. It's a little bit from a distance, not super close up. She's moving around quite a bit. In scene four, the A cam is the GH6 and the B cam is the S52. All right, moving on to scene five again. My son is in the skate park you know, doing some kick flips. Scene five, the A cam is the S52 and the B cam is the GH6. Now remember, this is not a color test. This isn't a, you know, stabilization test. This is strictly an autofocus test. So here, my other son is using the S5 to take pictures. I'm so proud of him for getting into photography. And this one, I'm moving around, you know, he has a camera in his face a little bit. And I think this is kind of where you see some of that contrast base GH6 autofocus not latch on the best. It's still a little soft, but in scene six, the S52 is A cam and the GH6 is B cam. And in both cases, that autofocus really fought through, you know, him having the camera in front of his face. And the GH6, even in this situation, is really manageable. Then at scene seven, we're back to where we're, you know, kind of doing this lifestyle shoot. And thankfully my wife was willing to participate in that. And I wanted kind of a backlight at golden hour type look because this is a very common theme once you get into video is having this backlight during this part of the day. And in this one, the A cam is the GH6 and the B cam is the S52. And you can notice just a little bit of softness in that A cam. I don't know if you can see it in YouTube compression or not, but there is, especially on the files, just a little bit of softness on that GH6. But the S52 is super sharp when it comes to that autofocus. Now 
Now this is still scene seven and the sun now is on her face. I'm just doing kind of like a side view. And even in this case, you know, it's just a little bit soft on that GH6, that A cam. But still, I'm super impressed with how it performs in these situations. So I was really happy with how this scene seven turned out in kind of more of a lifestyle shoot situation, if that's the type of work that you're doing. And this is just a little side note, but if you notice where the sun is on this shot, I'm exposed pretty much the same, but you can definitely see the dynamic range of that full frame on the S5 II come into play. The sun is a lot more blown out on that GH6. I know this isn't a color test, it's not a sensor test or anything like that. It's just an observation. Just something to consider if you're looking at these two cameras. All right, now on scene eight, this is really where the autofocus determines itself. And if you didn't get this one, then you weren't paying close enough attention. You can really tell on this scene which is the J6 and which is the S5 II. As I get closer to my wife, just step in just a little bit. You can kind of tell that A cam starts to kick out on that autofocus. The B cam is solid. And right here, my wife goes blurry on A cam and that is definitely the GH6, and the B cam is the S5 II. And in this situation, I don't know why it did that. I feel like it was a very simple shot. I don't know why it would kick out of the autofocus. There's not a ton of the same color in this. I feel like that contrast base, even in this situation, should be solid. But this is the shot where you could definitely tell the GH6 between the S5 II. Well, there you have it. Shot secrets are revealed. S5 II versus the GH6 autofocus. And like I said in my previous video where you went and played the game, this was not trying to prove anything. I'm not trying to say one camera is better over the other. They're both amazing cameras. They might be used in different situations, but they are incredible cameras and you cannot go wrong with either one. But if there was anything that you noticed in this video that kind of caught your eye, whether it was autofocus related or not, maybe it was stabilization, whatever it was, let me know down in the comments and we can get a conversation started down there. Now in this video that's popping up right here, I've got all of my video settings for the S5 II. So if you were wondering how I set up my camera, my S5 II to shoot video, just go to that video, copy all my settings, you'll be good to go for shooting video on the S5 II.